Hello, and we're going to go through the PowerPress feed and Apple settings in this video. So we assume you've already installed PowerPress, and that's for 8.3 and above. So if you have anything older than 8.3 and above, please update or this video is not going to make any sense. <laughs> We just had a major update. You'll notice if you're familiar at all with PowerPress, it's way different. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. So we go uh, here to PowerPress and settings, and then we go to this feeds section. And in this first uh, menu, you've got uh, enhance feeds. We su suggest that you uh, enhance all feeds, but you can select main feed only if you just want to do the one feed, or do not enhance feeds if you just want it to apply to your podcast channel feeds. So if you have a blog feed that you're using that uh, a lot of people do use and you're written, write, writing blog posts, you don't want your podcast settings to be in the feed. The podcast episodes will still be in the feed because they are posts. Podcasting and blogging are exactly the same thing. So anyway... Uh, I suggest you leave it up here. It doesn't hurt anything. Uh, right here, you'll notice there's a warning. This means that you haven't published an episode yet. Until you publish an episode, this feed is not valid. But this is your feed, and it's also listed right here at the top. And once you get your first episode published and you get all these settings in here, you can come here and hit Validate Feed. So let's uh, do that uh, once we get all through here. So... First thing you want to do is tick this box and tick that box. Do not allow other plugins to modify podcast feeds. And what that's for is other podcast or other podcast, other plugin developers may or may not know anything about podcasting or RSS feeds. And this just helps prevent other plugins from conflicting with your feed. And accelerate feed just makes the feed a little bit faster. I'm not sure how it does it, but does so turn that on doesn't hurt anything uh, feed discovery if this is not checked please check it this makes it easier for google and microsoft and other search engines to find you and rss2 image i used to say check this i would say leave it unchecked for now and basically uh, that that just uh, is one extra image that can go into the feed that is not always necessary so leave that unchecked and emojis you could put emojis in your rss feed you know if you want to i don't particularly care for emojis cuz i don't understand them <laughs> but anyway and save changes whenever you see the save changes before you go to another menu it's a good idea to hit it Feed settings. This is where you title your show. Now, the, the title of this particular blog is underwaterbasketweaving.net. But that's not what I want my podcast to be. So, your podcast RSS feed is this. And the title of it is nothing right now. Leave blank to use the blog title. So if you leave this completely blank, it'll use your blog title. But I still suggest putting something in here. This is also how you're going to... Whoops, that's not what I want in there. <laughs> I didn't copy what I wanted. All right, so this is what I want in there. I want it to be the Underwater Basket Weaving Podcast. Underwater Basket Weaving Podcast. No the. And if you ever need to change the title of your podcast, you can certainly do that. And you do that right here. And then that gets pulled into all the directories and to your, all, all your subscribers and subscribers and all that stuff. So uh, that's where you change the title. I get that question a lot. And the next thing is the feed description. This should not be redundant. So it should not say the Underwater Basket Weaving Podcast. It should say... A quick description of what the podcast is about. It's uh, so your elevator pitch. It's what you tell somebody in the elevator between floors if you only got 15 seconds to tell them what your podcast is about. And by the way, if this is not filled out, you will not get in Spotify specifically, and you might have trouble some other directories. Podcast mirror feed URL. If you are not specifically using podcastmirror.com, do not put anything in there. And if you want to use podcastmirror.com, you can, but 
It's not necessary in most cases. So leave this blank. This could have dire consequences if you put the wrong thing in this box. So please, please don't put anything in this box unless you know what you're doing. And also it works for feed burner and other things like that. But we don't suggest you use feed burner as well. Uh, down here, show most recent. Most WordPress sites are limited to 10 in the RSS feed. Now, you're going to do more than 10 episodes, so the maximum is 300 that any directory will show. So why not put 300 in there? And if you put anything bigger than 10 in this box... Tick this box. This is maximize number of episodes while maintaining optimal feed size. Select your language. If it's anything other than English, you can uh, pick, a, pick from a whole bunch of them here. That's for the RSS feed language. It is not for the blog language. Uh, you can set that in WordPress in another spot, I'm pretty sure. But that this is just specifically for the podcast RSS feed. Copyright. I already have one in here, but basically I do the little copyright symbol, the year, and who it's from. And you, just by the fact that you are making content, it is copyrighted in most English-speaking countries and probably a lot of other countries. And to make the little copyright symbol on a Mac, you just hit uh, uh, Option G at the same time. And on Windows, I think this works. I don't have a Windows machine, so I don't know, but it's supposed to be hold the Alt key and type 0169 with the Alt key held, and that should make you the little copyright symbol. Or just do like I do and steal it up somewhere else on the Internet and just paste it in there. <laughs> and caching debug comments. I suggest you leave that off. Uh, even if you are using super cache or W3 total cache, there's no need to have extra stuff in your feed. But for troubleshooting, that may be handy at some point. But uh, most of you, no, don't, don't bother with that. And, of course, save changes. Podcast artwork. This is pretty important, and they are pretty picky about it. Right here is the requirements for the artwork. And Apple Podcasts being the big kahuna, that's, uh, they're the ones that set that, but everybody else adheres to this as well. Needs to be 1400 by 1400 pixels and be exactly square. Cannot be 1401 by 1399 or anything other than just completely square and above 1400 and below 13 or 3000, 3000 pixels. I suggest going 1400 by 1400. There's no reason to put 3000 pixels in an image because the image is about an inch by an inch on most people's phones and does not need to be super high res. So to upload new artworks, pretty easy. Hit upload image, select your wonderful image. If I can select it, there we go. It's selected and you'll see the JPEG title of the image in the box. Tick this box that says also uses RSS image and tick this box that says use program Apple podcast image above for your Apple episodic image. Uh, and you can change the episodic image, which I'll show you in a different video. But uh, once all those are checked and you have your image in there, just save your changes. That uploads it. And you'll see that it's up here in the artwork URL for the Apple Podcasts and for the RSS2 image. And that box remains checked. So you're all set there. Podcast SEO. I don't do a whole lot here. You can specify a custom episode titles and all that stuff. I find that it's not really good. And actually, if you uh, put the feed episode title appended to the uh, to the post title, that just makes the titles really long, and it's really not necessary. I would leave that unchecked and leave all these unchecked. The one that I do check is if you're doing audio, click the schema.org audio objects. Not a lot of directories use it, but some do. And also video objects if you're doing a video podcast. And yes, you can do video in PowerPress. Basic show information. All this stuff is absolutely positively optional. You do not have to do this. But if you want to, you can. So the location of your show, City, Michigan, USA, which is the cherry capital of the world, self-proclaimed. 
That's where I happen to be. And episode frequently, frequency, frequently, <laughs> frequency. That's, you know, monthly, daily, weekly, whatever. I usually do these webinars about once a month. So we're going to call this M-O-N-T-H-L-Y. There we go. Monthly. See, I got it spelled right this time. <laughs> and donate link. You can syndicate a donate link in your feed. Only one app currently uses it at Skipcast on iOS, and they're not used by a whole lot of people. But if you want to, you can syndicate that into the into the RSS feed. Put in the URL for your PayPal donate or your uh, buy me a coffee or your Patreon or whatever, and then you can choose the label like support the show, buy me a beer, buy me a coffee, send money, whatever you want to put there. And that button on Skipcast will say whatever you put in the donate label. Uh, like I said, it's not used very much, but uh, if you have such a thing, you can just throw it in there and uh, you might get something out of it. Who knows? But if you changed anything in here, hit saved, cha save changes. Ratings. This is only applicable in the United States, and that is for the V-chip rule. The V-chip rule is a rule by the FCC in the United States that if it's going to be on a television in any way, shape, or form, it has to have a rating so that parents can block it if it's above a certain rating for kids. So it doesn't hurt to put one in there. If you're not doing a show specifically for kids, don't use any of the TVY ones. Use PG or TVG or above. Uh, and be honest about it. You know, if you drop an F-bomb once in a great while, PG is probably good. Uh, TV 14 if it's a little more, and TV MA if it's raunchy. TVG for this one. And the Apple settings. Again, they are the big kahuna. And feel free to use the same description that you used in the uh, feed area, in the feed settings. Uh, for both of these if you want. You could put a little more in here if you want to. But uh, just, you know, having them all three the same is okay because none of, uh, they, they don't show up in the same place at the same time. But like I said, you could have more in here if you wanted. This is what Apple's going to show in your uh, listing. Wrap summary values with CData tags. I suggest leaving that off. Uh, there's no real reason to do that. You could do it if you want to. If you really know what that's all about, it doesn't really give you any advantages, so I leave it off. Optimize iTunes summary from blog posts. I also leave that off because it kind of does that automatically. And uh, sometimes adding more stuff to a feed is not necessarily the best way to go. Category. The first one here is required to get on any of the directories. And the categories are notoriously bad, but pick one that closely matches what you're doing. The other two categories are just suggestions to the Apple team if they want to feature you in another category, which they choose to do manually. So you're not going to be in these two categories unless Apple decides you are. Author name. This is one thing that you have to be extremely careful about, not stuff keywords. The only thing that belongs in the author name is a name, not a name and a title or name and a description or name and anything other than a name. But if, say, it's a company, say you're doing a podcast for ABC Company, you could put ABC Company in there whatever you want to do, but uh, you don't have to uh, put anything in there but a name. Generally, the host of the show or hosts of the show. Like I do another show with Todd Cochran uh, called Podcast Insider, and it says Mike Dell and Todd Cochran, or vice versa. I don't know who got top billing, but <laughs> anyway. But, you know, just names. Uh, Apple does not want to see anything in there but names. Use blog author's name for individual episodes. Chances are... It's going to be one host all the time, so leave that off. Now, if you do have more than one host that posts on the WordPress site, you could change that if you wanted to. Not that it shows up anywhere that I know of. Author email. This is an email address that you check. It can't be an email address that you don't check or an invalid email address because this is how Apple and everybody else is going to get a hold of you about your show listing on whatever directory. So make it an email that you check. 
since I get paid to check this one, I am going to put that one in there. And believe it or not, you don't get much spam, if any, off of this. Uh, every once in a while, somebody will try to market some podcast-related stuff to you, and uh, those are easy to ignore. It's it's not like a big spam magnet like some things can be. Explicit tag. This is going to sh show no options selected when you first install PowerPress. Make sure you select clean or, yes, explicit. Be honest about that. Because if you say clean and every other word is an F-bomb, somebody may complain and you could get removed from the Apple directory or any other directory for that matter. Feed type, no option selected is a perfectly good option. Episodic is the default. And if one of these two is fine, unless you know exactly what you're doing and why you're doing it, serial is not what you want. Now, and serial or episodic only applies to Apple. No other directory will play it the opposite way. And so, you know, don't set that here. If you're going to do a serial podcast, you're better off just dating the episodes appropriately to keep it in the same order on all directories. Anything below here, new feed URL, advanced options, all those things below. If you want to quit podcasting or quit podcasting with PowerPress, then that's what these are for. I suggest don't use them, so don't do anything. Come to the bottom here and save your changes, and your feed is set up. The next thing is to make a post. So we're going to make a post. I already had one here that's in, uh, that's in draft, so we're going to actually publish the post. And I do have another video on how to upload and publish. And then we're going to come back here to PowerPress and settings, and we're going to validate the feed. So go to feeds, and right down here where it says podcast feed, special podcast only feed. Notice the warning is gone now that we have everything set up. And you hit validate feed, and it brings you to cast feed validator. And you may get some little warnings and, and whatnot in here. Don't worry about it. Most of them, unless it says fatal, there's nothing wrong. But here we go. Basic feed tests are good. Server tests are good. Artwork tests are good. It says my ID3 tag is missing. Yeah, I didn't put any ID3 tags in my file. ID3 tags are not necessary, so don't worry about them. And website tests, everything looks good. So we got all green check marks of things that matter. So your feed is now ready to submit to the directories, which I will show you in another video.